Hey guys, Trace here for DNews. I'm at the Oakland Ice Center in Oakland, California, and we're gonna learn about curling. It's been a sport on this planet since the 16th century, it started in Scotland, and now it's in the Olympics. So we're gonna learn about the science and physics behind throwing rocks down ice. So I'm here with Mike Greenberg of the San Francisco Curling Club. Mike, tell us a little bit about curling. The object of the game is you're actually throwing these 42 pound granite stones with a handle attached to them all the way down a sheet of ice, a uh, little more than 100 feet, yeah. and trying to get it to land in a very specific place on a target. How's that work? I mean, it's ice, so it's slippery, but it's bumpy, too. So we pebble the ice. It's basically sprinkling water on top of the ice. It creates these little hills and valleys, basically, on top of the ice that the rock glides over. Uh, what this means is that they're less at the bottom of the rock in direct contact with the ice, so it slides a little more easily. There's less friction. Let me teach me talk about the ABCs of curling. Okay. Alignment, balance, and curl. Okay. okay. So first thing we're going to talk about is how you get lined up to get this thing down to the other end of the ice. So I'm going to step on the slider, get used to that, cross down, take my aim, get my stabilizer right here. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is a little bit forward, back, hips up to create some momentum, and then down and forward. The curling refers to the fact that as the rock goes down the ice, we're going to put a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation on it, and it curves to the right or to the left as right. it moves down the ice. And the stones themselves are made of granite. They actually all come from the same quarry in Scotland for consistency. Wow. It's not flat on the bottom like you might expect. It's actually a ring that's a sharpened running surface. Okay. So again, less of the rock in contact with the ice means right. less friction. Because friction is bad and they are hydrophobic, which means they repel water more than they absorb it. Right. But they also transfer momentum well, as you were saying. Absolutely, so they've got a hitting band that you'll be able to see around the side of the rock. So when it hits another stone, it can impart the vast majority of its energy to that other rock, and you can knock things around at odd angles. If we hit this stone right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna send this stone, even though they're locked up, it's gonna put a little bit of momentum on it this way. It's gonna drag the back rock with it, and hopefully right into that red stone. Oh, cool. Okay, so, let's see it. You do this. Ah! Oh, what about these with a the brush thing? Curling has the distinction of being the only sport in which you can affect the trajectory of the thing you're throwing after you've let it go. By brushing the ice, what you're doing is you're warming it up. A lot of people say they're not sure, they think that you're melting the ice a little bit. But the effect that it has is that you can carry one of these stones straighter than it would have gone and carry it up to 10 feet further than it would have gone under its own weight. So what we're gonna do, is you're holding it on the right side of the body. You want one hand high, one hand low on the broom, and you want to put it down like that with your body weight on it. Okay, and Remember, okay. We're, we're trying to heat up the ice, My right? weight is on it. If we were to put this down on a bathroom scale, what yeah. we'd be looking for is how many pounds can we put on that? As many pounds on it as, as we can have, yeah. as many strokes as quickly as we can have. Okay. That's what's going to impact your sweeping. Got it. Okay? We're trying to melt ice here if we can. Okay. So when did curling become an Olympic sport? Curling's been uh, in and out of the Olympics as an ex exhibition game for some time, but it actually became an official Olympic sport most recently in 2002. Congratulations, you know how to curl. Well, thank you very much. That's where you can sweep. You have a good workout? Uh, I did. I feel like I need to sweep harder uh, and more. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, who knew there was so much science to this sport? Curling is awesome. Make sure that you come find us on Twitter and tell us what you think, or if you're going to like curling a little more at the Winter Olympics this year, now that you know so much more about it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.